Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a twist out video for you guys. I learned this technique from Whitney of Natural 85. If you would love to learn how to complete this on yourself, then please keep watching. To start off my style, I have clean dried hair. I did a jumble twist at night to keep it nice and detangled. Now I'm just going to take a wide tooth comb and I'm going to part my hair and clean sections helps me to work a lot better uh, so the hairs don't get in my way and also it's easier to take down your twist once it's set. So separate your hair the way you would want it to fall. These are the products that I am using for this. Um, I've had these products for a while but decided to give them a try with this twist out. Uh, the gel is a curl forming gel. You guys have seen me use this. Um, I've posted this on my Instagram before so you saw my wash and go results. So I wanted to see how it worked with the twist out and if it would make my hair crunchy. Uh, so you will see the end results. I mean you saw the intro. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so what I'm doing is Whitney's technique from Natural 85. And what she does is that she helps her hair have individual twists so that it's less of the separating that you have to do, which creates less frizz. So the hair that's going up and around is the only hair that I am adding new hair to. So once that hair goes up and around, it has new hair added to it not the hair that's going down and under so you just want to make sure that you keep that in your mind whatever's going up and around gets new hair down and under does not and as that keeps going you keep adding hair to each section so I'm just going to do like a quick bantu uh, just to keep the hair out of the way I do not leave it this way it's just to keep the hair out of my way so you want to spray with your setting spray add your gel comb it out and then begin your twist and I do that for every single section so up and around grab new hair down and under I just take it down and under so up and around that piece is going to get new hair the piece going down and under did not until it goes up and around. Continue this out throughout your head. This was my first time trying this technique, so my fingers felt a little weird, uh, which is normal with any technique that you try out, but I'm sure the more I do this, the better it will get. The next one I'm going to try is a three strand twist. Um, it sounds crazy because to me that sounds like a braid but it's not it's actually a twist and I'm going to give that a try in a video for you guys so stay tuned for that so make sure you have a nice smooth twist going all the way to the bottom so I thought I was going to give my hair a little bit of a curl and I used a perm rod uh, so I just pretty much left it there this is an option or you can just leave it down I do end up taking these out but um, I wanted to show you guys what you can do if your ends do not stay together and they start to unravel. You can put a perm rod and it'll help it stay um, until it's dry. Up and around, that piece is going to get new hair. <laughs> so I feel like I've said that a billion times, but it's the only thing you really, really need to remember and it will be perfect. So this is a clear example of why um, neat parts are so important sometimes because as you can see even though I parted my hair and separated that damn hair just kept getting in my way. It was so annoying. It's even more annoying editing around it. <laughs> The reason I did this on dry hair and then added product to moisten it was because it cuts down on drying time. Now you can put your twist on really wet hair, it just takes a little longer to dry but it will be really defined as well if you did it that way. Um, mine still came out super defined but um, I decided that I wanted to do it on semi damp hair versus wet. So this is what it looks like once all the twists are in and then I will show you the takedown once I sleep on it. Uh, 
Okay, so it is the morning and I'm ready to take these twists out. Uh, you can leave them in longer if your hair is still damp, but mine wasn't because I did it on damp hair, so it dried really fast. I used an oil because the oil is going to help me uh, make sure I don't create frizz. It's, my hands are going to glide on the hair and it's also going to provide a nice shine, uh, which is always welcome. Especially with curly hair, we barely have shiny hair, so shine is always welcome to me. As long as it doesn't weigh it down. So gently unravel your twist and as you can see my hair already looks like I fluffed it out and that's because I tried this technique which helps you to create individual twists without doing a bunch of twists in your hair. So once all my twists are out, I like to go in with my hair pick. This is completely optional, um, but I wanted to fluff out the root. Just make sure you don't take it all the way down to the ends because you will frizz your hair out. So this is how I look right after taking my twist out. But I wanted to show you guys how you can look super glamorous. So this is my glamorous twist out and face. And this makeup tutorial is coming to you very, very shortly. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with your friends and give me a thumbs up if you loved it. And I really hope you did because that helps me a lot to know what you guys like to see. Thank you guys to my next video. Bye.